Introducing the Pomodoro Bot, the cutest way to boost your productivity, powered by Raspberry Pi and VM. With just one press of a button, you're all set to start your Pomodoro timer and dive into focused work. But this little bot does more than just track time. It keeps you organized with notifications for your upcoming events, ensuring you never miss a meeting. Plus, it monitors your surroundings. When air quality drops, its eye turns red as a friendly reminder to take action. If the light levels are low, the bot dims its display to help you stay focused. Small, smart, and packed with all the features you need, the Pomodoro Bot is here to help you work smarter, stay focused, and get things done. Now that you're familiar with what it can do, let's roll up our sleeves and bring this little productivity powerhouse to life. Let's get building. At the heart of this smart little companion is the Raspberry Pi, a tiny yet powerful computer that's loved by tech lovers worldwide. To seamlessly integrate its capabilities, we've incorporated VM's advanced robotics platform. This platform consists of two key elements, server app and the cloud app. First, the server app runs locally on your single board computer, SBC, acting as the core of your system to facilitate communication between the hardware of your smart machine and its controlling software. The cloud app, in contrast, serves as a remote control center for configuring your machine, monitoring performance in real time, and collecting valuable data. VM centers on two key concepts, components and services. Components represent the physical hardware in your system, such as cameras or servo motors, paired with software to ensure smooth operation. Services are built-in software packages that provide advanced capabilities, like motion planning for navigation and obstacle avoidance, without requiring complex coding. Let's start by installing Viam Server. Before that, make sure you have all the essentials, your Raspberry Pi board, a power supply, a micro SD card, and a way to connect to the internet. Begin by setting up your operating system. Head over to the Raspberry Pi website and download the official Raspberry Pi imager. Insert your micro SD card into your computer, open the imager, and choose the latest Raspberry Pi OS. Once installed, pop the card into your Raspberry Pi. Now, power up your Pi and complete the initial setup. Next, we need to install the VM Agent, the powerhouse software that makes it all possible. Let's walk through the steps to get it up and running. Start by heading to the VM app. If you don't already have an account, creating one is quick and easy. Once you're in, you're ready to set up your Pomodoro bot. In the app, navigate to the new machine field. Here, give your Pomodoro bot a name. Click the Add Machine button and you're on your way. Go to the Configure tab and you'll see your new machine listed. An alert will prompt you to set up your machine. Click on View Setup Instructions to proceed. Select the platform your Pomodoro bot will run on. For a Raspberry Pi, choose Linux slash Arch64. After evaluating the two installation options, VM Agent and Manual Installation, we chose the VM Agent. This recommended option not only simplifies the process by managing the installation and updates of the VM server, but also offers added benefits like provisioning and OS update configuration. In contrast, the manual installation provides full control by installing only the VM server, but without the extra features. The setup page will guide you step-by-step -step through the installation process tailored to your platform and method. Run the provided commands on your Raspberry Pi to complete the installation. Once you've completed the setup, give it a moment. Head back to your machines page on the VM app and you'll see your Pomodoro bot go live. To ensure you never miss a meeting while staying focused, let's integrate Google Calendar with your Pomodoro bot. Head over to the Google Cloud Console and create a new project. Once your project is set up, enable the Google Calendar API by searching for it in the API library and clicking Enable. 
In the Google Cloud Console, go to the IAM and Admin section and create a service account. This account allows the bot to securely access your calendar, assign it the role of editor or owner, and download the key file in JSON format. Keep this file handy. It's your service account file. Now, go to your Google Calendar, open the calendar you want to integrate and head to the Settings and Sharing section. Under Share with Specific People, add the email address from your service account file and give it permission to Make Changes to Events. Still in the Calendar settings, scroll down to Integrate Calendar. Copy the calendar ID. You'll need it to configure your bot. Back in the VM app, navigate to the Configure tab Add the calendar module and input the calendar ID and the path to your service account file. It should look something similar to this. Now save the changes and that's it. To make sure your Google Calendar is successfully integrated with your Pomodoro bot, let's run a quick test. Open your Google Calendar and create a new event. Give it a name like Test Meeting and set the time for a few minutes from now. Save the event and now we're ready to check if the bot picks it up. Go back to the VM app and navigate to the Control tab. Here, you'll see a command interface. Enter this command to fetch calendar events. If everything is connected properly, you'll see your event, test meeting, displayed in the results. This confirms that your bot is now seamlessly communicating with your Google Calendar. Let's enhance your Pomodoro bot by integrating the ENS160 air quality sensor. This sensor tracks indoor air quality, including VOCs, ECO2, and provides an air quality index, all essential for creating the perfect workspace environment. Now let's get the hardware set up. Start by connecting the VCC pin of the ENS160 to the 3.3 volts pin on the Raspberry Pi. Next, connect the ground pin to a ground pin on the Raspberry Pi. Then, wire the SCL and SDA pins to the corresponding I2C pins on the Raspberry Pi. Once your hardware is connected, let's add the ENS160 sensor to your Pomodoro bot. In the VM app, go to the Configure tab and add a new component for the ENS160. To test the integration, head over to the Control tab in the VM app. You should see live data from the ENS160 sensor, real-time air quality readings right at your fingertips. Now let's take your Pomodoro bot further by adding the TEMT6000 ambient light sensor, which monitors light levels to optimize your workspace lighting. This addition ensures your bot can monitor light levels around your desk, optimizing your workspace lighting for productivity. The TEMT 6000 outputs an analog signal based on the surrounding light intensity. Since the Raspberry Pi operates in the digital domain, we use the ADS1115ADC to convert this analog signal into digital data that the Pi can process. Now let's bring the TEMT 6000 into your bot's system. In the VM app, go to the Configure tab and add the TEMT 6000 sensor as a component. To test, go to the Control tab in the VM app and fetch live data from the sensor. As you change the light around the TEMT6000, the readings will update in real time, confirming everything is working as expected. A display can transform your Pomodoro bot from a functional tool into a truly engaging companion. With a screen, your bot gains personality. It can visually communicate, provide intuitive feedback, and even motivate you with friendly reminders or fun animations. 
For this, we've chosen the 4-inch HDMI Capacitive Touch IPS LCD display. This 720x720 720 optical bonding screen is perfect for our bot. This display connects to your Raspberry Pi via HDMI for video output and USB for touch input. Connect the HDMI port on the Raspberry Pi to the display using the included HDMI adapter. Power and video signals are now routed to the display and the display is ready for action. We wanted the Pomodoro Bot to be more than just a functional tool. It needed to be visually appealing and full of personality. We started by brainstorming concepts and sketching a few base designs to capture its friendly vibe. Then, using Fusion 360, we meticulously crafted a compact and modern 3D model, refining every detail to balance aesthetics and practicality. The result is a charming 3D printed bot that's not just a productivity powerhouse, but also a delightful desk companion, designed to bring a smile to your face while helping you stay focused. After finalizing the design, we began 3D printing the model using the Bamboo A 13D printer. This step brought our concept to life, allowing us to create the bot's physical form with precision and efficiency. The result was a durable, well-crafted model that perfectly matched our design vision. With all the components ready, it's time to assemble the final Pomodoro bot. We began by soldering wires to all the necessary components to establish reliable connections, ensuring a solid foundation for the project. Next, we secured the components together using tiny screws, creating a firm and stable assembly. With the connections in place, we installed the Raspberry Pi and the WaveShare display into the main body of the project. To facilitate modular and easy connectivity, we used female headers to solder the connections between the components and the Raspberry Pi. For efficient power delivery, we employed male and female USB breakout boards to power the Raspberry Pi. Finally, after positioning the back cover, the assembly process was successfully completed. With all the pieces coming together, the result was a sleek, functional bot ready to boost productivity and brighten any workspace. And there it is, the Pomodoro Bot, a harmonious fusion of technology, creativity, and thoughtful design crafted to transform the way you work. This isn't just a tool, it's your dedicated companion, helping you stay focused, manage your time, and create an environment where productivity thrives. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.